Welcome back everybody once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm sure the title always gives it away, it's called Ways to Save. Many people always say, Jack, you know, after your tutorial, you know, the videos are great, we really enjoyed it, um, but how did you save it? How, how do you save it and get it ready to be produced, uh, you know, to be developed or to be printed? Well, there's some couple of things you have to remember when you do this. And a lot of people miss these key steps. First of all, when we go to File and then Save, what that's going to do is you're going to see here, it's going to save it as a PSD file. Now, PSD stands for Photoshop Development File, okay, or Photoshop Developers, or just PSD if you think of it, nothing else as being the Photoshop extension. Now what leaves this, uh, makes this really nice, if we create a folder, this is another thing, where do you save it at? I'm going to save it on my desktop, and we'll, click, we'll type in uh, save class. So first of all, you want to create a folder somewhere on your computer, or as we're going to talk about here in a minute, I'm going to show you one other place you can save it, which is really cool. But on the computer, I saved it on the desktop, most times it'll be under pictures. Make sure you rename it to something that you're going to understand. So we call this Hawaii Beach, just like so. And we're going to save it as a PSD file. Why would I want to save a PSD file? Well, let's say down here, save. You see where it says layers? So if I want to come back in and edit this photo again later on, I now have layers. So all my layers in my layers palette are going to be saved exactly the way they are. So I can come back in, I can rework this photo later, I can do more to it, and everything's going to be set up the way I previously set it up. So let's go ahead and click Save. So we saved it as that file name, Hawaii Beach. Now let's say you're all done. You cannot, you cannot, there's no way you can do it. You can't send a PSD file out to a print shop somewhere and have it printed. They would need the software. They have to open up the software. They got to print it. They're not going to do that for you. What it needs to be, it needs to be done as a JPEG file. Or there's a couple other ones we can look at. So let's go to File. This time we're going to go to Save As. Okay, because we have the PSD file that we already want to keep. So we can work on this again later on. But now if we go under the formats down here. We can save it in different formats. And there's a lot of people, a lot of controversy around this. And people are going to e be emailing me, say, Jack, you're totally wrong. You're off base. This is what I do. Okay. I save it as a JPEG file. When I want to get it ready to ship it off to either SmugMug or Shutterfly or Flickr, I save it as a JPEG file. Now, if you save it as any of these other ones, you got BMP, you got Comp CompuServe GIF, uh, photo project format, Photoshop PDF, so it's a PDF file, a Pixar file, a PNG, or a TIFF. Now, I can tell you the latest one here, the TIFF file has the least compression ratio going on. And I think I'm going to show you that. So let's first do the JPEG file. Okay. Now, JPEG file, when you do this, it's going to compress your layers together. It's going to push all those layers together, and it's going to save it as a file. Okay, that's a JPEG, and it's a compressed file. So when we open this, you will not see any layers here to work on. You will have a, you know, whatever you have in front of you will be there, and then you'll have to add to it from there. So, so save it as a JPEG file. All right, it's going to ask you here, what quality do you want it at? Ten. Uh, I have ten right now. Usually, here's the here's the little uh, tip of information. If I'm saving this for Facebook, I will do something like medium. And the reason I do that, you'll see the file size here is 1.1 megabit. Now, if I go all the way over to 12, such as this, I got 9.1 megabit. If I'm going to send this out to be printed or developed or any of the services out there, or if I'm going to put it on a thumb drive and take it to my local Kinko's or my Walmart, I'm going to save it as the biggest file format because it's the least compressed format and the quality is a very high quality picture. Click OK. So now we have that file format. Now let's say, just for giggles, that we want to go to File, Save As, 
And this time I want to show you just a little bit here. You can see up here now where we have a PSD, that's our original file, and we have the JPEG file. But now we're going to change this to TIFF. Now TIFF you can see also where it's going to save as layers because TIFF is very close as compression-wise to PSD. But TIFF files can be printed by your printer companies out there. You click on Save. Now you get a couple other things here. Image compression, you see where it says none. So it's not going to compress that file. We can go to JPEG, but you just do a JPEG file like we did before. So let's say none. The quality here is grayed out because we have no compression. Save image pyramid, we're not going to check that. The interlaced RGB, RGB, okay, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. Leave that the way it is. The byte order. Just leave that as IBM PC. I don't want to change that. Even though I'm using a Mac, we'll just leave that alone. Layer compression, it says faster saves bigger files. Okay, let's just leave it at that. Click OK. Include layers will increase the file size. That's okay. Uh, you can say yes, or we can go back and uh, delete the layers on there and say we don't want to save the layers, but let's say okay. All right. Now let's look at a little bit of a comparison with those. So if I go here, if I go to my save class, here's the PSD file. We can see here it's 209.1 megabyte right on the bottom there. The JPEG file we saved, look at this one now. This one's 209.1 megabyte. The JPEG file compressed the image down and we have a 9.6 megabit file. So if you're going to upload this or send it to uh, you know one of the developers, it's a smaller file base already. But let's look at the TIFF file and see what we get out of the TIFF. Out of the TIFF file, you can see it is the largest of the three files. It's 212.5 megabit. So TIFF is doing no compression. People will argue with me, and in, in the, arguably the right that TIFF is probably the greatest uh, resolution that you can save as. So if you want to save it that way, if you want to send those to your developer, check with the developers, but most of them do take TIFF files. So if you want to make sure they get all the resolution without any compression. But I've never found any problem with JPEG files. You can send JPEG files out. I've been developing them for years. Uh, all my wedding photography I do, all my senior portraits I do, I send those out in JPEG files to SmugMug. So that's what my customers are buying, are buying JPEG files. The last thing I wanted to show you is where you can save to, okay? Because this is called ways to save. So there's three ways right there already. First, you're going to save as a PSD file if you think you want to come back and do some re-editing of your photo. Second, you want to save one as a JPEG file so you can send that to your developer, whoever you're going to use to uh, print that photograph off. Thirdly, you can save as a TIFF file where it's not compressed, and you can also send that file out to be developed or printed off. So that is ways to save. I hope that you found this uh, very, very interesting. And if you want to learn Photoshop Elements even more in depth, check out jtclearning.com. That's jtclearning.com. Right now, Photoshop Elements 14 course is only $30. $30 is a very inexpensive price to pay for what you're gaining. And I'm still building the course, but it looks to be in the end of it, when I get it all built, there's probably going to be at least 55 uh, or more videos in there. And they go from very early stages. You work through the quick edits, guided edits, all the way through the expert tools. So check that out at jtclearning.com. Folks, thank you very much for watching this segment of Jack's Tech Corner, Photoshop Elements. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.